I think there are several things that really helped us develop a vaccine faster. And a lot of the science that was done for the SARS coronavirus one, which was discovered in 2002, and then the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus in 2012 really helped us a lot because we learned from those other coronaviruses that had a pretty um, similar presentation, especially SARS-1, that we knew that the spike protein was the key protein to express. We had animal data that suggested if we created vaccines to that uh, spike protein, the animals were protected. So that gave us a jump start. The vaccines themselves, one of the things that's actually interesting is we now have data that's come out from some of the adenovirus vaccines from other countries. We have uh, data that's come out of China on inactivated virus uh, vaccines. They're all having a pretty similar efficacy rate, usually in the high 80s to mid 95% range. So that's telling us that there is something that with this spike protein and the vaccine strategies we're using that we are able to develop a better immune response than, for example, to influenza. So some of it is just the virus itself and having the right protein expressed in these vaccines to create a very robust immune response that's protective. How long that vaccine is protective, that is something that we're going to learn. And we need to know that information because that'll tell us whether we need routine booster doses, whether it's good for several years, we don't know.